Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes that simplifies the deployment and management of applications by using charts, which are pre-configured templates of Kubernetes resources. When you create your own Helm charts, you encapsulate the configuration and structure of your own applications, enabling consistent, reusable, and version control deployments. If you are already creating your own Helm charts, you probably need an efficient way to host them, making them easily accessible and shareable within your team. Chat Releaser or CR is a tool designed to help GitHub repos self-host their own Helm charts. So basically any GitHub repo containing Helm chart source code can also be a Helm repository. So using the Helm chart releaser tool in tandem with GitHub Actions, you can automate the publishing of self-managed Helm charts to GitHub pages and turn a GitHub repository into a Helm chart repository. So I'm sure many of you already know about GitHub Actions and GitHub Pages, but just as a brief overview, GitHub Actions is GitHub's own built-in CI-CD automation engine. So we can use GitHub Actions to create CI-CD pipelines or workflows to build and deploy our GitHub hosted code. And if your GitHub repository contains code for a static website, for example, we can use the same GitHub Actions workflow to deploy the website to GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages is a feature of of GitHub that lets you host your static website directly from your GitHub repository. And of course, you're not limited to just hosting website static files like HTML or CSS, but you can host other file formats as well, which is why we can also use GitHub pages to host the .tgz packaged Helm charts as well. So in order to create the packaged Helm charts, you need to perform some initial tasks first. You can create a new Helm chart with the Helm CLI, which helps set up basic directory structure and files. Then you can create your custom Kubernetes manifest templates using Helm's templating syntax to make them configurable. You declare configuration options in a values file, which allows users to override the settings when they install the chart. So when the chart is ready to go, you can package the chart into a .tgz archive. Then you can create an index file. This lists all the packaged files and their metadata so that Helm can treat your chart archive as part of a Helm repository. Now from here, you can go through several additional manual steps to push the Helm package and the index file to a GitHub repository, create the appropriate tags and GitHub releases, and eventually publish the chart to GitHub pages. Or we can make use of GitHub Actions and the Helm chart releaser tool to automate this entire process. All you need to start configuring this is a GitHub repository containing the unpackaged Helm chart source code. Then you add a GitHub Actions workflow file. In this workflow file, you define a release job that will download and use this chart releaser tool to package and publish any and all the charts that you have in your repository. So the CR tool will take care of packaging and uploading your charts to a branch in the same GitHub repository. Now this branch is usually GH pages by default, but you can configure this to be anything else that you like. The CR tool will also create an index file and push it to the GH pages branch. The release job also takes care of other important things like making sure that the dependency Helm repositories are added for any of the charts that have dependencies. And then after making sure that you have also created the GH pages branch, you can commit this workflow, which will go ahead and trigger a job in GitHub Actions. Now this workflow is also configured to run every time you add a new chart or update the code for an existing chart. The workflow run can then be viewed in the GitHub repository under the actions tab. So the logs for each of the package new charts, upload new charts and update index steps should show the details about which charts were processed, if the upload to the GitHub releases succeeded and whether the index file push to GH pages was successful. In the GH pages branch, you should also see the package chart in .tgz format along with a crucial index.yaml file. So remember, this branch only contains the published repository content, not the chart source code from main. On the right side of the code page, you should also see entries corresponding to your chart versions. Clicking on a release should show all of the chart artifacts, including the chart file, attached as assets. And then in order to publish the charts to GitHub pages, in your repository settings under pages, you can configure GH pages to build and deploy from the GH pages brand. Now, once this is done, GitHub automatically kicks off another workflow, which takes the content from your GH pages branch and deploys it into GitHub pages. And once this workflow is done, this means that your Helm repo is now live and serving Helm charts. You can use the URL specified in the GH pages settings to add this repo 
repo to your local machine. Then you can update the repos and do a search of your newly added repository. This should display all the charts that you currently have available in your Helm repository. So all of this automation handles getting the charts into a repository format for you, which makes sharing internal or custom charts really straightforward. So I've gone from code in a local Git repository to an installable Helm chart via URL all automated. I'll have a link in the description to my Helm charts Git repository so you can take a closer look at how everything is configured. And once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.